or streaming. Okay, and I'm just gonna turn on the light above me so I can uh, read when I need to. Accidentally dropped the settlement sheet on the floor and it got crumpled up after being stepped on who knows how many times. <laughs> and our population is 13. Okay. Actually, that's not that bad. I thought we had like fear of people. So, did we just not create characters? Because we have seven here. Oh, wait, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, so I think we're just missing two people. Yep. Um, do you want to make that now? Sure. Okay. Here, I'll pull a new one for you. And, um, wait, does this one, you do get plus one strength, right? Because it's uh, a new character. Or yeah. Oh, wait, no, no. Hold on. Do we get... No. Okay, never mind. I thought we got something. Oh, no, it's the hunt XP. That's right. Sorry, I'm just chopping up some avocado into my ceviche. No worries. So what's a ceviche? Wait, also we got plus one for naming them, right? Why is this at three? Um, hold on. So, uh, first in order. Ceviche is Mexican seafood medley. It's at three because, um, one for being named and two for, uh, Saga. Oh, okay. All right, so this doesn't include, like, departing survival or anything? Nope. All right, cool. Um, let's see, do we need male characters or, or female? So we got... I don't know if we should count the saviors, because if they die from, like, intimacy, like, I'm not sure if we should even risk them. Mm -hmm. So for everyone else, yeah, let's see. One, two... Nemesis is female, right? And Ares? Okay, assuming those two are female, we have four females and three males. Or five if you count Hestia. So I think we should just do two dudes. That sounds good to me. Okay. Uh, do you remember who Demeter was? Mm-mm. Mm, okay. Oh, wait, what about... Who are, like, Icarus and their guy? Was that him? Okay, I don't know, but I'm gonna name this one Icarus. Uh, 
And for other characters, I guess we should probably bring someone with Tinker. Oh, also, doesn't Theseus get something for hitting age two and being a savior? Nope. No? Oh. I thought he gets something from it, like a, another ability or something. Nope. That's it. Um, the second age box, this one. Oh, okay. I see. Let me bring Persephone. She has Tinker. Wait, why does she have negative one accuracy? Did she break an arm or something and healed it? I don't remember. Because hmm. I think she was the one with like a broken arm. But I remember we rolled for it and then like, I think I rolled badly for both of it and she just got insanity instead. But I don't remember if we actually like healed her. I don't remember either. But then I feel like if we did, like her broken arm is like not here. I'm not sure if it glitched out or if we actually did. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Wait, what is the thing for broken arm or for negative one accuracy? So for negative one permanent strength and negative one uh, permanent accuracy. I feel like that's what it was from. I think we just never um, fixed it. Yeah, okay, I think that must be it. Wait, but then does that mean she gets her things back if... um? Oh, she sleeps, yeah. Yeah, like her strength and accuracy, right? Because I remember she did have one strength, and then, like, um, because of her arm, like, it reduced it. Not sure, did she? Now I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so I guess I'll just... Give it back. I don't know, it's weird. I don't remember, like, putting her to rest, like, successfully. But we definitely might have also. Also, Sage only affects people who are just born, right? Sage? Or was it Sage? Um uh the one that gives like plus two Saga. Saga, right. Yeah, newborn. Okay, never mind. Alright, um I guess I'll roll for um Janice's age. 
to. That is a fighting art. Two and six, eight. I think, did we roll the same thing? No. You got two and then six? Yeah. I also oh, got oh, two. Oh, yeah, yeah, so... it's a fighting art. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool, it's this one. Oh, man of hunting is really good. Yeah, we should fight the, um, uh, the Gorm? Thing. Yeah. Yeah, Gorm. Yeah, let's go fight Gorm so we can get the hell rid of, uh, Gorm Climate. For real. <laughs> I mean, I guess Gorm Climate hasn't been terrible so far. Oh, uh, we got Hovel, so... Yeah. Okay, so, um... Go in with spear. Oh, that's right. We have to pick a thing. Before the hunt. Oh shit! Like I don't remember if um, I feel like Gorm probably has like super dense stuff, but I'm also willing to just put this up as a sword person too. We'll be able to make a scrap sword soon enough. Okay. Oh, Pegasus does have a uh, proficiency. Nope, Pegasus does not. Okay. Because he's only age one, hunt experience one. Right. All right. Ready to hunt the Gorm. Yeah. All right, let's, um, don't forget to do survival and stuff. Yeah, for sure everyone so just fine. caps out. Okay. I'll go ahead and give it to everyone. Okay, we're good. Dude, we still never got Surge. <laughs> nope. Hopefully we can get it next summit. I think this one was like a good one to have Surge on too. Alright, Pegasus reveals the first. A survivors pass a finely armored man commanding a retinue of slaves who are busily butchering the remains of an enormous gorm. The man proudly invites the survivors to marvel at his skill. Roll a d10. We could start the event, like, or the showdown immediately. Yeah. So. Oh, wait, no, no, hold on. It's. Wait, the event really. Oh, okay. Never mind. I lied. <laughs> Oof, I got a low roll. I got a four. Uh, the man worked. warns you of dangers just beyond your vicinity. You may re roll one random hunt event during this hunt phase. That's good. That's not bad. Yeah. Okay. Let's remember that. Mating fields. Ahead of the grounds covered with mounds of foul smelling corrosive vomit. Any of the survivors who choose to investigate, each that does gains plus one courage and rolls on the table. Um, yeah, I think we should all roll. Yeah. Four for Persephone and three for Incarus. I don't think that's good. One event damage to legs for Ingress. And brain event damage for Persephone. You get anything higher than nine? Nope. Uh, I just got both of mine were uh, foot damage. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. And I got two and three. Okay. Good right. So a random event that we can re-roll if we don't like, unless if we roll a 10 That's or right. something. 37. 37. Alright. Oh. 
Oh, cool. I flipped almost right to it. Lost. The survivors are hopelessly lost in the unbroken darkness. Move the survivors two spaces back on the hunt board. I'm going to re-roll that. Okay. Thirty-six, <laughs> really? <laughs> nice. Okay, on oh, the trail. Like... If the sorry, survivors, wait. huh? Wait, sorry. Did you add courage yet for your characters? Yes. Okay, cool. The survivors That's rush me. forward, feeling their quarry close at hand. Skip the next hunt space. If the movement begins the showdown, the we ambush the quarry. If the survivor has uh -huh. easy gear, survivors do not ambush and start the showdown normally. See. That re-roll was clutch. That was good. Do we have any noisy gear? I highly doubt it. No, we never have noisy gear. I think the only noisy gear I can think of is um the uh, what is it called um drums. Yeah, like instruments. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Also, I forgot Pegasus is a girl now. <laughs> yep. Let's make sure our cards are right. Um, do we want to do Reverberating Lantern? Just because we can't... Oh, but you have to do it before the event is revealed. Yeah. Never mind. Let me just make sure that the Gorm doesn't have a special... Um, like, setup rules. Okay. I think he does actually. I think it's like oh, yep. two. The tall grass, grass is on the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Set up his deck if you could. All right. Six movement, five toughness. Oh, wait, no, eight toughness. I can't read. Eight basic, two advanced. All right, so we got to set up uh, six spaces away from Gorm. Okay. Two, four, five. Uh, it's one, two, oh wait, I can't count. Four, five, um, there, here. Nope, that's only five. Wait, really? One, two, three, four, five, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Six. All right. All right, and I am ready. So this is six, seven, eight. I'm just gonna, yeah, move my two spaces further away. I'm going to use the uh, 
the slow attack, the Vespertine Bow with the Claw Head Arrow. So that's one, um, two, yeah, one, two, six with Deadly. What deadly what is? What the hell? What? It like wasn't really. Okay, so it hits. All right, so if this happens, it retches. Um, on a two up, it wounds. And on a nine up, it crits. So it wounds. See, the bow is really good for this one. Yeah. And he gets a minus one evasion token for the rest of the uh, match. Nice. All right, let's see. Two spaces backwards, which means this stone column is gone. Or actually, oh. I'm just gonna place the stone column down here. So. Uh, why? <laughs> uh. Because I don't know. Oh, you know what? Actually, yeah. It's, it's fine to delete. It's fine to delete. Yeah, yeah, for some reason I was thinking it was like these cards up here that delete oh, okay. that fucks things up. Okay. All right. Any wretches, which nothing happens. Okay. So. All right. So now it's Icarus's turn. We're going to do one, two, three. Um, one, two, three. Well, let's go into grass for... Oh shit, you can't. One, two, three, four. I guess five. You know what? Let's just do that. Oh, whoops, that was a mm -hmm. weird button. Oh. Press. Oh, wait, but he has like extra movement from his uh, liner boots. Yeah. Forgot. Okay, so six. He's in the grass. Sweet. Yep, and that's his turn. All right. Oh, I forgot to give him insanity for the um, letter mask. Nice. I think uh, oh yeah, me that. too. Yeah. It's two go. or three, two. Two. All right, Janus will now do his thing, which make yeah, he moved perfectly into range. So. All right. So Janus will. Attack with the spear, so it's two, four, three, right? Yeah. Two, four, three. Yeah. No hits. Oh, wait. Okay. Two, three, three, because evasion, minus one evasion. So one oh, hit. That's right. Nice. We caught that. Whoa, that was weird. Okay. Oh no. Uh, it's fine. It's only one hit. All right. Does uh, that fail? I think that fails. So that's uh, six, and it needs an eight. Okay. So. Oh. Oh, I see. I yeah. See. <laughs> yeah. So. It'll move six, so. And he goes back here, right? Yeah, yeah he stays he... there and he's knocked down. Okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> I pushed <laughs> him off the board. Okay, well, that was his turn anyway. Okay. Well, it's Persephone's turn. Um, go one, two, three, four, five. That's it. Um, oh, and I guess I'll look at the top two AI cards. We've got Strobe. Oops. Scratch. Um, oh, this one's kind of bad. Because it will affect everyone. Yeah. So let's do Scratch first. Oh, wait. Oh, no. But look. Reduce armor points that rolled yeah. uh, to zero. And who would the target be? It would be, um, um it would be, uh, the Pegasus. 
because it oh, would be the closest right. threat in field of view. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, I feel like Pegasus can probably get away with it. Yeah. But also, we do all have like um, uh, insanity, so I feel like this wouldn't be so bad either. It's just the knockdown part, so we oh, basically that's right. lose our turn. Yeah, you're right. Never mind. Yeah, okay. Let's let's do this. Have Pegasus take one for the team. Yep. Okay. So let's see. Yeah. Monster controller yeah. on uh, Icarus. Mm -hmm. Scratch. Um, close to start facing in range, which is no one. Yeah. Um, so it's facing the edge of the board. <laughs> Right. Build a few. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um. Also, he wouldn't have to stop here, right? Like, we can't just put him like here. Yeah, the it's the the least amount of movement. Okay. Um. All right. So before damage, reduce armor points at rolled hit locations. So uh, at first, zero. it's one. It's one, two. Uh, then. Before oh right. Okay, so you have to actually that. hit. Yeah. Two so it hits. Oh wait, wait I got evasion. Wait. I got evasion. Nice. So this is a hit. Yeah. Oh sweet. Got one evasion. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So um, I guess this is what happened. Oh wow! Cool. I forgot Pegasus has two luck. That seven crit. <laughs> oh. Damn. I mean. Can we still do it? Because <laughs> it has a persistent injury. Right, nice. Uh, on a D10, oh. uh, a 9 plus, the Gorm is knocked down. Guess we'll roll roll now. No, of course not. <laughs> this is a 20% chance. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. okay. Anyway. So uh, It didn't hit, so we're fine. And it is now Icarus's turn. Okay. Um, do this. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but I guess this vomit thing would have not happened either. But yeah, so Incarus. Move one, two, three, four, five. Everything is too far away. Oh, an extra move. So six. Okay, that's his turn. All right. Round. Yes. Who uh, is up now? There. And oh yeah. So two three three. Alright, no strength. Oh it's two three four. Please. Two three four. <laughs> okay. No hits. Wait, uh, time out. You said you got seven for Pegasus, right? But yeah. if he has two luck, is, is that eight? Eight plus the deadly from the Vesper team bow. Oh, okay. I see, I see. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. Um, but you got no hits. Okay. Yep. And I uh, used the extra movement to move out of the way. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Persephone, one, two, three, four, go five. And... One hit. I don't think it three hits. Three plus um, three plus five. Two. So no oh. eight. Eight does hit. Oh, nice. Big king spirit. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, you're right. You're right. All right, cool. Wait, what is cross arm block? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. Um. Yeah. So let's move strobe. And that was her turn. Did you do the... Oh, that, that was a failure. failure. No, not a failure. Yeah. It was not a failure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then it is Pegasus' turn, who will... One, two. And will shoot. Uh, Vesper team bow. 
So um, yeah, it'll be... I think you don't want him to move a little bit further because I think if he vomits, it hits him, right? Yeah, but um, you know, Pegasus also oh, has um, two movement. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's. I forgot about that completely. Wow. Yeah. Actually, yeah, the bow is really good then for him. I was so thinking we should just get shield, but this is better. So it's three, five, uh, six, critting on sevens. Oh, three, yeah, three, five. So two hits. Super dense. Doesn't matter. So, yeah, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, which one has a better? Oh, this one knocks down. But it is yeah. the last person going, so it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, so this, um... Uh, let's see, on twos, creating on seven. Okay. So. On twos, creating on seven. Okay. Cool. Okay. And then he will dash. Boom, boom. To get out of sight. Okay. Roll to see if he got it back. Nice. Alright. So the controller goes to Janice. Janice is like, has two faces or something, right? Yeah. Okay. I forgot the lore for that. Me too. Anyway, so you control. Oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. What the hell? Okay, let's see. Wallop. <laughs> Closest threat in field of view in range. So I guess that would be... Um, what was that? That's pay for your Mm-hmm. Okay. She has an indication of two. All right, so that'll be two, four, one. Damn. Yeah. A perfect hit and a hit, and then one damage to two locations. This is a very basic card. Yeah, right? I'm like, is this better than his normal basic attack, or is it... Wait, I think it's ex exactly as yeah, it's the same. basic attack. Why does it have a different name? That's kind of weird. <laughs> oh, uh, there's, a, there's a difference. This one uh, does field of view first instead of facing. Oh, I see. That's the only difference. Yep. So two waste. I'm gonna dodge one. Let's see. If Why? Back. Oh wait, you're right. Oh, but also I rolled sure. a nine. <laughs> yeah. But um, is it just one damage? Right? Yeah, just one damage then. Okay. All right, and now it is uh, Janice's turn. Yeah. <laughs> like, is this a good idea? <laughs> Actually... No, I'll attack it from the side. Okay. Casey jumps back. Yep. Let's see, so that'll be two, five, um, four. Oh, wow, cool. Uh, so this is uh, six, so a two nice. up wounds, creating on ten. Nice. Okay, uh, Persephone. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. So we're not in the same spot. I think. Let's see, he has evasion of negative one. And she has no accuracy. Um, so it is on fives. 
Okay, so only one hit. Uh. Oh. Bummer. Yeah. Headbutts. Um. Oh, star damage to head location. So. Just one damage, one damage. to the head. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, turn the monster to face the most survivors. Each look or each survivor um, is knocked down and suffers. Um, okay, so most of the so it would either be uh, these two or two these or... two. Yeah. So you um, choose. Have to look yet. I guess. Or I guess I choose. Three? Yeah, I like oh, the, I like right. these two. Yeah, because um, uh, Janice already moved, so it doesn't yeah. matter if we bring. Mm -hmm. Is Janice a girl or a boy? Uh, Janice is a boy. Okay, yeah, so I guess it doesn't matter if he gets knocked down. Alright, so yeah, brain damage and knock down. Is it bash or knock down? Knock down. Uh... Okay. Oh, wait, I did it for the wrong person. That back to Persephone and. Um... There we go. Um, now it is. Wait, is all? Oh uh, no. Then um. Oh yeah. Okay. So let's put everything back in and reshuffle. And now it's Pegasus's turn. Gonna shoot a bitch. Three, five, um, three, five, six on. Also, uh, I'm gonna sevens. encourage, uh, what's his name? Ooh, nice. Gets it back. Icarus. Yeah. Yeah. She gets knocked down. Wow, no hits. Oh, okay. We'll dash back. You got it back. I do. Nice. All right. Um, I'm gonna attack with. Oh wait, no. Sorry, rolling for. Okay, this is his roll, but let's see if he even reaches one, two, three, four, five. I guess. <laughs> you should be right here. Oh wait, one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, I forgot you can do that. Okay. So we've got an eight and a five. Um. And this sits on six, but he has negative one evasion, so... Two hits. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, alright, so this is on wound and this is on failure. Oh. Bummer. Let's assume that we... Well, what does it hit on? Um, it'd be like six up, right? Uh, let's see, so two strength, uh, four strength. So it wounds on uh, force. Okay, so let's do um, uh, this failure one first. I hope we don't fail. Nice. Okay. Wait, does he have any luck? No, he doesn't. Yeah. Alright, um, let's move that AI card. And now let's see if we... Nine. Damn, if he had one luck. Um, yeah. We keep forgetting to roll a d10 on the start of its oh, turn. Oh, that's right. Oh well, let's do it for the next one. So it retches. So that. Oh. Shit, I. Moves back I'm two guessing. spaces. Destroys this. Um. Where do you want? Where do you want to move her? Because it's your character. Um, let's go that way. Yeah. All right. So, one, two. And now these two get hit. Mm -hmm. What is it? One brain damage, one oh. So who has the most control? Hit armor? That ignores armor. Alright, body to uh this one to mine, so and then this one's for And, oh. Head. Ouch. Knocked I mean, down. I guess it just knocks down. Yeah. That's 
Who is it? Icarus. That's, uh, oh, Icarus, yeah. There. Yeah. Okay. And he's not down, but it doesn't matter because it's the end of the turn. Okay. And uh, Monster Controller went to Persephone. Draw the AI card. Pick up. British oh, Survivor. Did you roll the D10? Oh, I keep forgetting. Yeah. <gasps> yeah! Oh, wait. Okay, so this is what actually happened. Okay. Um, yeah. Awesome. Wow, good thing you're reminded. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So everyone gets up. Mm -hmm. And let's let's fall up and um so it's on threes, right? Yeah, everything hits on threes. Nice. Okay, two hits. A trap card. Um does this game plus two strength even though um like is this a flank or does it count as a flank? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Nice. Because uh, this is the way it was standing, so oh, you are technically on its flank. Okay. I wasn't sure if it automatically counts as a flank or something. Yeah. It does cancel all reactions, though. Okay, cool. So we did this one. Cool. Um, yeah, so that yeah. should hit. And then I'll just do it for the other one. Crit! Ooh, crit. Let's see. Drop paralysis. I feel like it probably won't matter. He only has two okay. AI cards left. Yeah, I think he's dead <laughs> this turn. Yeah. Unless Wait, did I move it yet? I don't think for I moved the, it. No, not for that one, no. Yeah, there we go. Alright. All right. And now so Pegasus. Now Can you finish him off? Three on threes. Alright, two hits. Two hits. All right, let's see. So this is twos up, critting on sevens. You kill him. Oh, this is on his testes. Nice. Shot him right in the testes. All nice. Right. Dead. Cool. Easy. Sweet. All right, let's get four basic and four Gorm resources. All right, I'll grab Gorm. We gained the Negretto innovation, uh, Gormiri and Gormicist. Okay, I'll grab the D6. I'll get the Negretto. This. Put it down here for now. Oh, cool, this is a plus one survival. Oop. Something happened. <laughs> Where did Greta go? Oh, right here. Oh, okay. I just moved everything because I like keeping it all over here. Uh, like, these yeah. are the things that give us survival, survival, and this is returning survival. Yeah, I like it. Okay, and then. We get rid of Gorm Climate. Yay! No more and rolling then, for that. Yeah. Gormery and Gorm Chemist. Alright, and this is all of our new resources? Yes. So, that right there for now. Put Gorm back. All right, everyone gets their hunt EXP. Right. I'll do my characters, you do yours, mm -hmm. as well as their weapon proficiencies. Dude, I can't believe you roll that every time. Like, I didn't know that. I thought it was every time we, like, aged or something. So five plus 
13. Well, I mean, it it's kind of it kind of is every time you age, cause like, it, cause you every oh. time you gain a hunt experience, you gain weapon proficiency. Oh wait, so, actually no, not every time you age. I I thought it was like every time you hit the black dots. Like for um, weapon proficiency, but I didn't realize it was only for special weapon master. Like that's what it means. Like right here, let's see. Age again. The benefits of hunting experience once the milestone is reached. Me. Dude, I got thirteen for both my characters. That's fighting arts, right? Now select weapon type proficiency. I think you're right. Oh. I think we've been doing this, or I've been doing this wrong this entire time. Oh no. <laughs> no wonder it feels like easier. <laughs> Wait, really? Uh, Hold on, now I have to look okay, at this. Okay, so, yeah, so so I'm reading this. So, uh, yeah, you gain the benefits of the Hunt EXP milestone have, have reached. You can only gain each milestone benefit once a lifetime. And oh, then no! Wep See, so this is why it confused me. I read this top paragraph, Weapon Proficiency. And the way that uh, the way that I understood it is every time you get a weapon proficiency, you roll this table. Oh. Uh. But I now realize that now you gain a weapon proficiency, and as part of getting age one, you get to roll on the table. Yeah. Damn. Oh no. <laughs> We've been cheating. Whoops. Whoops. Well. Okay, let's say we didn't roll for um, yeah. these two then. But, so Pegasus does get to roll though. Okay. So oh, yeah, because three. Just One, Ooh, so nice. that's four, so permanent strength. Always so. welcome. Alright. And he'll be able to get to choose. Um, a weapon proficiency in the next hunt. Let's see, Janice hits then, gets a weapon proficiency, and you did Persephone and uh, mm -hmm. Icarus. Okay, well, now we know. Wow, that was a lot of mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because, like, I remember reading that and thinking, like, oh, like, um, I didn't know you get so many like rolls because it seemed a little bit OP. Um, but wait, can I see the like where is it in here? So I mean, it's gonna be different in my book, but or maybe I don't know. So it'd be settlement events, no timeline events, no milestone mm -hmm. events. There it is. Oh, right, H. H. Yeah, I guess this is what threw me off. Like this has like one square. Like yeah, three. I didn't notice that. I just read weapon proficiency. And I <laughs> thought all of this was what you get every time you get a weapon proficiency. <laughs> Wait, so what do these other ones mean then? Like Age 1, age 2, age 3, age 4. Oh. Corresponding okay, so with this one, this, this one, this one, and this one. Yeah, I see. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Damn, okay. Well, good to know. Okay. Well, so let's gain our endeavors. We got five endeavors. Counting for the tinkers? Yeah. Oh, I guess only one tinker. A settlement event. Haunted. The survivor with the lowest hunt EXP, choose in case of a tie, is convinced a powerful presence is nearby. Oh no, this one you have the possibility to like lose them. Um, so so they have all two. have two. Wait, Hestia. She only has one. Uh, does anyone else have less than one? 
Uh, no, because we made our all of our characters, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna double check that no one has less than one. Yeah. Damn, Aphrodite over here with Hella. <laughs> and Adonis. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, so they're one away from aging. Just saying. Yeah. I feel like we shouldn't roll for their aging though, because since we already like kind of messed up, so like. Um... But it's a different table though. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. So Hestia will roll. Okay. So on a thirty percent chance to kill them, basically. Mm -hmm. Good luck, Hestia. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we don't have to kill her, but we can't spend innovations in the settlement phase unless if we kill them. Honestly, we can't even, like, use her. <laughs> so yeah. might as well. Yeah. She's blind. Okay. She's crazy. <laughs> oh, no. She's just, like, exiled. Like, well, like, I don't know. She's just this blind, exiled lazy na uh, lady now. <laughs> She survived for so long. Mm-hmm. Oh, whoops. It's okay, we, she made many kids for the village. <laughs> yep. There we go. Alright. Dude, these are those kids that send their parents to, like, a nursing home. Yeah. <laughs> and take care of them. <laughs> so, update timeline. Oh, there is nothing to do this timeline. Alright. Okay, so now we can innovate and craft gear in peace, knowing that we survived the timeline. Okay. Um, so let's start by... Oh yeah, we have to do this. Oh yeah. Oregon. Oregon. That's it. I yeah. guess it's only eight. <laughs> Yeah, we're used okay. to getting 14 plus. <laughs> right. All right, so All right. let's get the last piece of armor we need for the third leather set. Yeah, what do you need for it? I'm finding that out right now. Oh, don't tell me it's bone. So we have boots, bracers, skirt, mask. It's, we need bone. <laughs> Boo. Yeah. We still have an extra bone. Oh, do we? Oh, that's right. I forgot. Yeah, we have this thing. No. And leather, yeah. Alright, so okay. delete these two. Get us the... that uh, curios. Yep. Yeah. Copy and paste. So can we do anything at the Gormery. Let's see, which one of these organs is just most useful? Is what I'm wondering. So acid gland, mammoth hand, stout heart. Stout hide is really useful for the gorm stuff, but we don't mm -hmm. have that. Uh, we do. We can use um, the mammoth hand to make a knuckle shield, but you need two bones for that. Um, you can make a gorn, whatever that is. But it's it noisy. Stout heart. Oh, oh, I guess like Ooh, the acid tooth tooth dagger. What does that do? Ooh. Yeah, we don't have any, like, dagger people. Where is the... Oh, here it is. Acid Tooth Dagger. So, it's paired. Um, a perfect hit. 
uh, your wound attempt automatically succeeds. Oh, that's pretty good. I'd be down the main. If you it. have two of these, it would be essentially a four seven two weapon. Yeah. Which isn't exactly good. Wait, I think that's pretty oh wait, four The two, seven. Yeah, four seven two. Because oh, one of them is two seven two. But if you flank, then it's like four five. Four or five. Two? two. And I'm assuming if you use daggers, it's kind of like expect expected to flank. Let's see. I guess it's like the more you roll, the more likely you are to get a perfect hit. Yeah, but I feel like we're kind of learning that more rolls isn't actually always best. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Because more chance for the trap. Right. So let's see. Kinda like the Gax and Greater Gax, but we don't have any of those. Oh, what's the Knuckle Shield? Oh, that's actually pretty cool. So it's a three seven one weapon. Um, and once per round, if you wound with this weapon, you get a block one for free. Yeah. Wait, which one? This is the knuckle shield? Yeah. Okay. So I say we keep the mammoth hand. Okay, I'm down. Yeah. I do kind of want like, a shield person. Yeah. Does it reduce your movement or anything? This one does not. Oh, nice. Yeah, let's do it. Do we need the heart for anything besides the Gorn? The Gorn is actually not so bad, uh, but it's noisy, which scares me. Um, yeah. It's uh, once per showdown, um, everyone gets up. Uh, you can use it for an activation. Everyone that's knocked down stands, and g everyone gains a uh, plus one to all hit locations. Or a hit location? That so, is pretty good. To all hit locations, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sweet, but it is only once per round anyway. Once per showdown. Oh, showdown. Yeah, it's let me. But that could be the difference between life and death. But no, let's yeah. not make it. <laughs> so, yeah, so I feel like I'm more interested in getting a dagger person than I am having a instrument, because instruments scare me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like that. And. The inner bit. And still no surge. Mm -hmm. All right. Interesting. Gain the insanity of a dead survivor. I guess that's why you have to keep track of like all of your dead survivors. Mm -hmm. Oh, but you can also gain the courage and understanding. That's pretty useful. You can useful. gain the hunt experience of a dead survivor. Yeah. Oh, wait, how does this, wait, wait, hold on, how does this work? 
how do you like pick which fighting art you just you you it? basically trade a fighting art so you give a fighting art away and then someone else can pick it pick it up oh oh but okay so it's only one though like yeah. if you get like a good one you can't just teach it to everyone mm-hmm. okay never mind that's not great um this is my choice what And you both depart. Oh, this one's kind of cool, though. Game plus two survival. Um, oh, but only when you're adjacent do you get the plus one strength. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Um, I mean, what can we do with iron? Um, we can use it to um, work in the blacksmith. Because the blacksmith, oh. is, blacksmith is like the top tier gear. Okay. Um, do we have it? I forgot. No, you get it by uh, using this innovation. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Cool. Oh, but we don't have the stuff to build it. Um, so, I mean, I guess we can work on that. Yep. Also, I'm going to delete a endeavor for um, innovating. Yeah. Let's see. And... That would be good for Founder's Eye. Drums. I forgot how good drums are. Oh, yeah. The Rhythm Chaser slash Synchronized Attack would be useful. Yeah, let's do this. Um, or we could also make more kids. But um, I say we like... give two people um, Rhythm yeah. Chaser. N not Synchronized Attack? Uh... Oh. Wait, what does the Rhythm Chaser do again? I think it was something like if you get a 10 perfect hit, something happens, right? Yeah, let me... Rhythm Chaser. Oh. Uh, game plus one evasion token the first time you critically wound during a showdown. Oh, that's you can't... kind of unlikely. You can't uh, use it if you have any shield or heavy gear in your grid. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess if you want to use it for someone with the Law of Luck, like Pegasus, maybe. I mean, well, I think he's only lucky because of his charms. Yeah. Um, this this thing is lucky because of the charms. Yeah. Wait, he gets one luck from that. Mm-hmm. And does he get another from this one? He has one luck, right? Why does he have two oh. luck from here? Oh, this is my stupid. But um, this was because of the. Uh... Oh, was like the flower badge here or something? Yeah, the flower badge was there. Oh no! Oh no! There, we cheated! Yeah, <laughs> so much cheating. <laughs> It's so hard. <laughs> it's a hard game. For real. <laughs> this is why I wish someone would just make like a you know, an actual system for it instead of like having to rely on the players to not fuck up. Yeah, that's part of the game. I guess. Oh, interesting. That's yeah. pretty good. Nox or Nord's knockdown. I think there was a time where um, I guess we should have faced him like the other way when we had to choose between basically him or him. I guess if he gets knocked down anyway, because he doesn't actually. 
Oh, was that an intimidate? It. Oh, I don't remember actually. I don't you know remember. What it either. Yeah. Okay. Well. Um. So I guess he only has one luck. Yeah, I guess the thing about the synchronized attack thing is that you would need to bring the same people um, to, like, match. Mm. Basically have them as partners. Yeah. Um, which might not be worth it. I'm more for getting two people with um, Rhythm Chaser. Rhythm Chaser, okay. Alright, who has a lot of luck then? Does anyone have natural luck? I don't think so. None of these characters. None of these characters. I mean, um, no, none of them have any. Someone's in a bag. I thought someone had it, but maybe they died. Yeah. Maybe it was Aphrodite. Oh no, she doesn't have luck. You only need to click it once to find out. Oh. Yeah, okay, well, I don't really know who to choose then. One more character. Wait, what do you get as a result? Um, of critting? Uh, an evasion token. Oh, that's right. Um, I mean, I say just give it to Adonis and Aphrodite because they're like the MVPs. Yeah, I'm fine with that. So okay. let's see. Do we have to roll for it, though? No, you choose. Oh, okay. Nice. Get him. Uh, Probably misspelled rhythm. I'm just going to put it in abilities because there's, like, no room. And I'll put F A to indicate that it's a fighting art. Oops. Rhythm chaser, there we go. Then put that in there. Dude, I actually really like Saga. Yeah, it's pretty like, good. Yeah. All right. So, uh, let's make some babies. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um, who do we want to use? Well, Persephone has understanding, so it does plus one to the roll. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use. Persephone and hope she doesn't die. Oh, two. Well, I guess she gets nerd understanding. I think that's also nerd understanding. Yeah, an understanding. And we lose a resource. Mm -hmm. What resource shall we lose? Scrap is going to start becoming useful. So, either the hide or the sword beetle. Oh man, I'm like, how often do we get sword beetles? No, I'd rather lose the hides. In case, yeah. Actually, can we use the sword beetle for someone we don't care about? <laughs> like, I mean, I guess we don't have any new characters, do we? No. We can always save it later too. Mm -hmm. Besides, <laughs> if we ever get cooking, this can be used to make something that will actually yeah. give us strength. So yeah, so let's save it. Mm -hmm. And that was um, all of our endeavors. We need, did you roll twice? Oh, I rolled once. I thought you rolled a three. I didn't roll anything. Oh, 
How do you say you rolled a three? Okay. No, I said that's actually a three because it was plus one. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a oh, three that's right. anyway. Oh. All right, well, let's get <laughs> rid of... Are you getting rid of the white fur or the sword beetle? I, I vote no, sword beetle. White fur? The white fur? Okay. Uh, yeah, it's just because I'm like, I don't think we really make white line stuff anyway. So. We should if we ever get a dagger person. But yeah, it's like, it sounds uh, like that's not a great idea. <laughs> I don't know, maybe for a different character it might be. Or for a different, like, uh, showdown. Because I think the weapons you bring, it does matter depending on what kind of showdown it is. Did you get the other understanding? Yeah, I did. Okay. I almost got white secret. I don't think we've ever gotten white secret, have we? No. I think we've gotten. But I understand. White secret can be a good and a bad thing. Oh, okay. I guess we'll see. All right. right. So, uh, uh, I say let's just set up for the next hunt. Yeah. But I, I am also done for yeah. tonight. Oh, um, sorry, let me bring? just bring these down here, here, and here, and then yeah, put all their things inside of them. Oh, that's right. What do you think? Grab Rhythm Chaser for Adonis slash Aphrodite, did we? No. Okay. Oh, we well, did. I mean, I guess we oh, we did. I did. I did. Okay, I don't think I did, but that's okay. I, I, I did for both. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, cool. So I'm leaving Pegasus out, but I think we should put everyone else back in for now. We need to yeah. take everyone that has um, two or less experience out on our run. But let's um, I don't think we have any more. Like Hestia was the one with the least XP, and she had one, and everyone else had two. Um, I actually think we should try to bring some other people to make more hot XP because like what if you run into murder? I mean I think the chances is pretty low, like you know, one out of twenty seven or twenty eight, I guess. But there's always that chance. Yeah. Um give me one moment to set this one up. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this don't even need to be connected, so that doesn't need to be connected. Uh, yeah, I think it's does. the best to do. Yeah, there's there's really nothing we can do here. We can't gain that. We can't gain that. So. Oh man, now I'm wondering, did this character actually have an extra strength? Mm. Oh well, too late now. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, crap. Bring me back, uh, Pegasus. Oh, right. Search. No, this is Janice. Where is Pegasus? Oh, he's up there. Here we are. There we go. Sounds like we might bring him for the next one anyway, right? Or her, I guess. Maybe. Um, give me one moment. Okay, so gear is all set up. So, um, so I was saying that we should bring everyone that has two or less hunting XP. And you were saying what? Um, I think we should bring other people to kind of increase the hunt XP because, like, if we run into murder, uh, which you know only has like a one out of twenty chance of actually landing on, um, then we'd have to either sacrifice Aphrodite or uh, Adonis. Oh, because it chooses the the one with the most haunty XP? Yeah, and the one who's the most insane to be the murderer. I see. Alright, so... Who's your choice? So I need to bring Persephone. She does have four already. Mm -hmm. So I think if we bring one more, it'd be a five. I think five is how much the other ones have. And also, um, if we increase the haunt XPs of like other characters, then basically our saviors are the ones with the least haunt XP, and I'm not sure if that's really a good thing either. Yeah. All right, who are we missing? Who who broke? Oh no. Someone broke. Um, is it Janice? Yeah, I think it's Janice. Yeah, I think it's Janice. Okay. The state. Dude, I did drag her like... There we go. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Uh... Fixed. I fixed her. Okay. Nice. Whoa, what the hell? Huh. Weird. So state one. Okay. What if I do this? Um, Can you copy her card and then 
delete it. Okay, let's see. So stage oh, what else one. Let's messed up. Let's find out. Yeah, huh. still messed up. All right, uh, new plan. We get a new car. New character sheet. <laughs> and just copy. Just move these down out of the way. And then... Oh, she has own courage. Oh. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I thought we forgot to give understanding to, like, the other character, but I think it's already there. How do you drag the card out? Just like that. Just very Wait. quickly. Like if you're drawing a card. Oh, okay. I see. This one. That's it, right? Yeah. Let's make sure this works. It works. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. You got her insanity? Yes. yes. Okay. Alright. Or his, I guess. Yeah, you keep like calling her like you're calling him Janice. It's Janus. Oh, it's Janus. <laughs> I keep thinking it's a girl because um I forgot you haven't played like Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, right? Not no. the board game, but the the video game. No, I've um, only played the role play system. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, because there are the uh Malkavians and then like at one part like someone calls if you play one, like they call you like daughter Janice or something. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Or no, it was actually in reference to another Falcon character. Like, he was so good. I have a love-hate with Malkavians. I love the, um, Malkavian house. I hate anyone who plays as them in the roleplay system. <laughs> Cause... Why? Oh my god, so random XD. That's literally everyone I know that uh... plays Malkavian. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> okay, so... Who are we bringing? So yeah, we're bringing Persephone. Um, um, so these are the two that we I want to keep away. Pegasus and Nemesis are pretty expendable, so we should keep them lower than these guys. Mm -hmm. um, or we I guess, should bring Icarus... What about Icarus and Eris? Yeah. Wait, well, Perseus, does he have anything special about him? Well, he does have, like, accuracy and strength. Mm -hmm. I think you should bring Perseus, because he is the bowman, anyway. Okay. And if we're not bringing Pe Pegasus, then we do need someone to be a bowman. Mm-hmm. Then, um, for the others, uh, I mean, I guess might as well just try to beef up Inkers so that, um, he has more hunt XP. But there's not really anything special about him. I think this is the first, um, time in a while that we've uh, gone without making babies in a settlement phase. Yeah. Oh, we needed one more. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's your choice. This one. Okay. Is that Janice? Yeah, that's Janice. Alright. Oh, that's right. You have to sum up with that. Oh, 
So if we're set up, um, I guess we should do the departing stuff later. Yeah. But we do have to remember to do that. Mm -hmm. All right. We are set. I'm going to save cool. and you should save too. Yeah. You've done saved. Yeah, what? I said, oh, you, you're done saving. Oh, yeah, sorry. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, at least that wasn't like a party wife or anything. That was actually really easy. <laughs> yeah. And we got rid yeah. of Gorm Climate. Yeah. So I guess nothing bad happened, but it's just that nothing great happened either. But could be worse. Okay, cool. Um, GG. I'm gonna hop off now. All right. I'm gonna be on Minecraft if you're interested. Okay. No, I I think I have to like do stuff today, like cook and stuff. I see. All right. Bye. Well, bye. All right. Oh yeah, I should probably end the stream.